Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today we're going to be playing around with Ground Station Pro using the Mavic Pro and we're going to create a 3D landscape like the one you see here. Let's go ahead and get into it. There's deer down on the edge. There they go. Have a good day. See you later. We have our flying pad out here. The grass is still a little wet. We are gonna do the Ground Station Pro. We're gonna do a 3D area map using the Mavic Pro here. Surprisingly, the app picks it up and it works. We'll see how well the camera settings do and just how well it'll map in Agisoft. That's the firmware, or that's the software we're gonna use is Agisoft PhotoScan. Uh, we'll pipe it in once we take these photos. So let's go ahead and start the mission to see what happens. As you see, got the map recorded, and we're gonna press the flight button. Okay, it's gonna come up and ask us what the heck is going on. Hey, it looks like we're okay for the first time. Let's go, start fly. So I have it set to 150 feet. Altitude, or roughly 150 feet. So we'll see how it goes when it comes back. About it is that you can view your camera settings while it is flying. So let's go ahead and put it into manual mode. Bump it up to 60. Can we tap to focus? Hmm. Let's see, I wish we could tap to focus. Okay, well, let's go. Start to fly. I think I was a little ambitious with my flight plan. It's probably not even 20% done, and the battery's running pretty low. The good thing is you can put it on pause, bring it back, land it, swap batteries, and go back to flying. We will see how well that works out, but I definitely picked a massive area to fly. It's, yeah, it's huge. All right, checking back in, I'm getting the low battery warning. So let's go ahead and pause this. All right, and I'm gonna manually fly it and return it to home. So it will be interesting to see if the Ground Station Pro retains the memory of where it last left off. It should. I've never done it before, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna swap batteries and press play and see if it goes back to doing what it was doing. Uh, decided to mow some grass. All right, let's swap batteries and get back in the air. So the batteries are changed in the Mavic Pro. What it has here is resume from last stopped point. So let's see what it does. It's really freaking out for some reason about that. Okay. There it goes. And off it goes. So, it'll be interesting to see the stitching if it had any effect on it, uh, the battery swap. And I would assume with as, as greedy as I was with the land plotting, I'm sure I'm gonna have to have another battery swap here. That's unfortunate. Well, we'll check back in later. Another low battery warning. So again, all right, the batteries have been replaced. So let's resume from last stopped point. do its little freak out session and start to fly. 
There it goes. All right, we'll see it back again. We didn't have enough battery to finish the mission, but I got a little greedy with the size. So let's pipe this into the computer and see what happens. And boom. All right, we're back at the computer. Let's jump in and get started. So here we have already uploaded our photos from the Mavic Pro to my computer, and we are running the PhotoScan software. To upload your photos, navigate to Workflow, Add Photos, or right-click Workspace, Add Chunk, Add Photos. Navigate to the folder you placed your photos and select all the photos you want to import. Once that is done, you'll go back into Workflow and select Align Photos. Depending on your computer resources, these next few steps may take some time. Each one of these blue dots references an individual photo. They can be selected and the photo that is associated with that particular dot will be highlighted. Now that we have the photos aligned, you can start to get an idea of how our project is going to turn out. We can see here the battery changes may have had an effect on our project with a few holes in the alignment. Not too big of a deal considering these were just overhead shots and not actually trying to produce a masterpiece. It is the Mavic Pro after all, and the camera is far from a professional use camera. Now we're going to move to the dense point cloud generation. This will take all the points and create a higher detailed image. Depending on your computer and processing power, this step will take quite a while to complete. So we're just going to let it run its course and we'll get back to it when it's complete. Now that the dense cloud is complete, you can see a higher detail to the rendering. This is still an incomplete project as you can continue on by calculating the mesh buildout, shaded, solid, or wireframe. You can build out texture and optimize the area you want to focus on by cropping the rendering. This takes additional time to complete. For the sake of this video, we will finish at this point. What we can take away from this video is that Ground Station Pro works with the Mavic Pro. You can use the Mavic Pro to do 3D scans of terrain, buildings, and objects, and with additional photos taken at different angles, the renderings will come out accurate and with more detail. To get the most out of your renderings, you want to take the photos while the sun is high in the sky or on a cloudy day to avoid high contrast areas and cast shadows. If you have an object of interest you would like to have pop, you want to take multiple photos at different angles to allow the software render a more thorough 3D representation. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions leave them in the comments below and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next video.